Hello my friends, I hope you're doing super duper wonderful and in today's tutorial you will learn how you can create this breathtaking PowerPoint parallax animation. So let's go! Ok my friends, let's jump into PowerPoint and I'm jumping into PowerPoint Office 365 and first of all I would like to say huge thanks to Dennis Snellenberg for inspiring today's video. Just take a look at this wonderful animation and we will do our best to create something similar in PowerPoint, so please check out Dennis, link is in the video description. And if you would have more awesome ideas for my future videos, please let me know in the comment section down below. And now my friends, we need to pick a beautiful picture that we could use for our beautiful parallax animation. And I think this photo works really well because it has a foreground, couple layers of mountains and a nice beautiful sky background. So when you will be searching for your own images, so look for those images that you could easily separate into different layers like these pictures that you are seeing right now. By the way, links to all of these photos are in the video description in case you would like to use them. Ok my friends, so now the question is, how do you actually separate your photo into different layers? And to do that you can use Photoshop, Affinity Photo or Photo P. If you would like to learn how you can separate your photos into different layers using a free online photo editor, PhotoP, please check out this video. You can of course use any photo editor that you have, all of them should have the functionality needed to extract different layers from the photos. Alright, so I'll be using this wonderful photo by Kellen Emsley and now let's get back to PowerPoint. So let's start with this slide where I have already extracted all of the layers that we need for today's tutorial. As you can see in the selection pane we have 4 layers and now let me just hide them all and let's unhide them one by one. So first of all we have our hiker sitting on the rock, next we have a forest with a beautiful lake, after that we have a second line of mountains and finally we have a beautiful sky. And we can go the other way around as well, so first of all let me show you the sky layer, only the top part will be visible, ok. Next we have the second line of mountains, ok, the first line of mountains and the foreground, ok, so 4 beautiful layers that we're going to use to create this beautiful parallax animation. And now let's duplicate our beautiful slide and on the second slide we'll have to do a little bit of shuffling, we'll have to move those layers a little bit around. Alright, and now let's select the first layer and let's move it all the way to the top so that the bottom of the first layer is touching the top of the slide window, ok. And now let's just grab the second layer and let's move it halfway up, so not the full amount as we did with the first layer, just halfway up, just like that. And now for the layer number 3, let's move it upwards as well and this time just a little bit, so it should go up about 25% of the slide height, so just a quarter way up, just like that. And now let's make sure that for the second slide the morph transition is activated and I'm using a duration of 3 seconds, ok. So Morph Transition will help us to do all of the animation. Of course, if you don't have Morph Transition in your PowerPoint version, you could use Motion Path Lines to create uh, the same animations. And if you'd like to know how to do that with Motion Path Lines, you can check out this video. Link is in the video description and now let's get back to our slides. Alright, so now let's just play the presentation and let's see what we have done so far. And as you can see those layers are definitely moving. But they're looking a little bit weird because on the second slide we can actually see the ends of the layers. And to hide all of these ends of the layers we can use a full screen rectangle and this is what we're going to do next. So let's make sure that we're on the first slide and let's insert a full screen rectangle on this slide. I'm using no outlines and I have set the fill to a solid black color. Ok my friends, and now let's just grab this rectangle and let's move it downwards so that the top of the rectangle is touching the bottom of the slide window, just like that. And now let's copy the rectangle and let's paste it into the second slide as well and this time let's move the rectangle into the center of the slide window so that it covers the whole slide. Alright, so let's check it out once again on the full screen and as you can see on the second slide the black rectangle is covering up all of those layers and now we have a much better looking parallax animation. And now let me show you how we can make it even better by blending the first layer of the photo with that black rectangle. And this way the transition from the first layer to the black rectangle will be much more seamless. So let's make sure that we're on the first slide, let's select the first layer, ok. Now let's go to picture format and let's click on crop. And here at the bottom I have left some photo information that we can uncover by using the bottom crop handle. So let's extend the photo to something like this and let's click on crop to finalize the changes. 
And now for this solid black rectangle we will apply a gradient fill and this gradient fill will have two color stops and both of the color stops will be absolutely black but one of those color stops will have a transparency of 100% which means it will be completely transparent. And now let's just grab that color stop which is absolutely black and let's move it closer to the transparent one and for the position I'm using 30%. We can as well extend the height of the black rectangle to get a better blending. And now my friends, I think we have created a much smoother transition from the first layer to the black rectangle. And next my friends, let's select the first layer of the photo, hold down the shift key, select the black rectangle and let's group them into one single beautiful group. Since both of these elements basically make up our foreground, I think it makes sense to have them in a single group. And let's just rename this group to one to stay consistent with the names of the other layers. And now let's make sure that we copy group number one and on the second slide let's delete the old uh, black rectangle, the old uh, layer number one and let's paste in the new group number one. And let's just move it upwards so that the black rectangle covers the whole slide. And now let's check it out on the full screen once again and now we have a smooth transition from layer number one to the black rectangle, looking beautiful. And I really like the fact that we can see a little bit of this photo from the previous slide. This gives a sense of continuity. That's super awesome. Okay, my friends, and to spice up this parallax animation even more, let's insert an awesome slide title. And let's use this slide title from my previous slide to save some time. So let's just copy it and let's paste it into our slide. And let's make sure that the title is below the layer number one because we don't want to see the text in front of the person we would like to see this beautiful title behind the person. And now let's copy the slide title and let's paste it into the second slide as well and this time let's move it to the left side outside the slide window and let's move it to the top of the slide window just like this. And let's make sure that on the second slide the title is below the first layer as well. Alright and this is how our beautiful parallax animation is looking right now, super delicious. And one more thing that we will do, we will add a little bit of information here on the second slide. So let's do that right now. So let me grab these two text boxes and this little beautiful photo and let's paste these guys into our first slide. Now as you can see all of these elements are at the bottom of the screen but that's okay. Let's paste these guys into the second slide as well and now let's move them into the center of the slide. And with the help of the morph transition, these elements will come into view. Alright, looking beautiful. Everything is working as expected. And next, let me show you how we can add a little zoom effect to this photo at the bottom. And this time, let's make sure that we are on the second slide. Let's select the photo, let's go to picture format and let's click on crop. Now let's just zoom out a little bit so that we can see the edges of the photo. We can hold down the control shift keys and resize this photo to the center so that we can see the full picture. Ok, let's click on crop to finalize the changes. So on the first slide this little photo is zoomed in and on the second slide it's zoomed out. And the morph transition will do the animation magic. Let's check it out. Congratulations my friends, now you know how you can create this breathtaking parallax animation in PowerPoint. That was easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and subscribe so that you don't miss my future videos. Tutorial slides are available to all of my friends on Patreon.com. And please check out my second PowerPoint channel, Interstellar PowerPoint, which is full of PowerPoint magic as well. Thank you for watching, stay happy, stay healthy and I'll see you on my next video. Peace. Thank you.